What's up guys, RGT85 here, and today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at Code of Princess EX. Now this game, of course, we featured it in our upcoming July Nintendo Switch games video, and I thought it was a really cool looking game. It actually released originally on the 3DS, but I never got around to playing it, and it's a beat-em-up style game, so it would, you would think it would be something that I would be interested in, but for whatever reason, I never got around to playing the 3DS version of the game. Now I did hear that the 3DS version had some technical issues and stuff, but this version has been remastered for the Nintendo Switch, so I was curious to check it out. Once again, I want to give a special thank you to Nicholas for sending over a review copy of this game for me to check out. It does release on July 31st, so probably when you're watching this, the game is out. So there's different modes that you can encounter here. There's single player, there's multiplayer, there's online play, and then of course you have the options menu. Uh, the internet play, I've been curious to try out because it seems really cool, honestly. You can do co-op, um, quests, you can do ranked play, you can do versus mode there's leaderboards but there's not a lot of people playing it I've had the game for a couple days now I've been trying to find people to play but unfortunately I haven't found anyone to play so as long as the online works well I will assume that it does work well um, that's a real bonus in my opinion because you know this is a $40 uh, full price or $40 game so it's not a full price game so the fact that there is online co-op and stuff like that is actually really cool in my opinion if there is a problem with the online co-op if the servers suck or something I will put a pinned comment in the comment section down below to keep you guys updated and of course on the rgt85 facebook page and on twitter so make sure you're following me on both of those things but the main thing i've been playing is the single player now i haven't beaten the game i probably haven't spent quite enough time with the game to do a full-on review so that's why i'm sort of doing one of these videos but i really love this game and it really comes down to the gameplay so we're gonna do um a couple random quests here uh, I thought this quest was really good um, and so basically like I said as you play the game you get different characters and your different characters level up at different levels so as people join your party they are at level zero but as you choose a single character you basically um, will level up your other characters by doing missions the game is based on the main character Solange um, she has this big uh, sword as you can see and a lot of enemy factions are trying to get it there's factions within the enemy factions that are trying to get it they raid your hometown they kill your dad and now basically you're on the run with your sword so we'll take a look at Solange um, each character is actually pretty interesting because they all play pretty differently um, so far we have Solange which is the main character kind of slow but the weapon is very powerful you have Ali who's a bit quicker um, she's pretty nimble on her feet a Zozo which is like a necromancer and Allegro which is like a healer um, but we're gonna go with Solange and uh, when you choose your character, you can choose different items and different um, characteristics. You know, uh, like this uh, will allow me to have unblockable attacks when bursting. You can do no knockbacks while bursting, max MP increased. So it's good to play around with these different things to see basically what's best for your character. Um, and that's pretty important within the game. So we're just going to go with what I have set up right now. One thing I really want to highlight, though, is the writing of the game. It's actually pretty funny. Now, all of the voices are in Japanese. Not a huge deal. You know, it, it works. I don't mind reading. But the the dialogue is actually very funny. I was, I was surprised at how clever and witty it was. Um, there's actually been some laugh out loud moments within the game. So there's actually a very funny moment here. Um, so basically, this is when the healer um, just first it joins us um so like i said i'm showing you guys earlier missions within the game um but there's a very very funny scene so we're at a tavern here we're on the run and this character is trying to join our party as mainly the healer of our party so Ali, you know, she's kind of a badass. She doesn't want him to join or whatever. But you know, Solange is a very, you know, uh, uh, loving person who who always tries to see the good in people and stuff like that. So this this part just made me laugh. There was like a part where, the, where like um, one of the enemies was talking to Solange and she was like, didn't I see you on the street corner? And I was like, whoa, you can't do that. But yeah, it was funny. So Zozo constantly is like this sort of depressed character who has like, uh, like body parts falling off and stuff. And she has to get like arms from the graveyard and stuff. We met her in the graveyard. The Sage and the Wench is three, baby. Let's jam! 
Like, it's just so, it's so random. Like, I don't know. I just, I found this to be so funny. Like, everyone just starts dancing. And, like, a little dude's just riffing out on his guitar. Just so funny. But, of course, I'll try to skip through some of this. Uh, of course, you know, not everything is going to be peaceful. Not everything is going to be nice and chipper. The enemies are coming. And that's when we get into the gameplay of the game. And what really draws me into this game, the visual style, I really like it. Because it reminds me a lot of a Vanillaware game. Sort of like Muramasa, the Demon Blade. I really like the refined visual style. It looks a lot better than the 3DS version of the game. I saw pictures of the 3DS version of the game. And I was like, you know, it doesn't look bad for a 3DS game but this is like nice clean and crisp and you know the animation on the characters is really good and you know the movement and whatnot but the gameplay is where the game really shines because it reminds me of a Sega Saturn game that I absolutely love and is absolutely very 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 expensive and that is Guardian Heroes which is a very underrated beat-em-up game in my opinion you can actually purchase it on the Xbox one via the Xbox 360 uh, live store but here is the gameplay so each character like I said plays a bit different than the other characters but Solange I, I really like her she's a bit slow but she's really cool so when I'm talking about the Guardian Heroes style of gameplay basically there are three different levels that you could jump through as you can see right now I'm jumping through the three different levels so there's three different planes which is exactly like Guardian Heroes and for whatever reason isn't is a mechanic that you don't see very often in games um, which I find a bit be a bit strange um, so you can look at the command list and see each individual character has a lot of unique abilities and they all have their own moves. So it's good to look at this so you can sort of learn, you know, um, the different characters abilities. There's also this burst mode here, which drains your MP. As you can see, you have an MP and an HP meter. Um, it will go up over time. There are also uh, item drops. You can uh, break things like these uh, crates over here. Let's break those open see no goodies in there but you know it it feels a lot like guardian heroes and i didn't expect the game to be like that i thought it was just a standard you know 2d game that you would move on a 3d plane i didn't realize you'd be jumping between tiers but i really i really like that about the game so we're gonna finish up this mission and then we will move to one more mission so you guys i'll use a different character so you guys could sort of see how the different characters work and whatnot but I, I absolutely love this gameplay style. I love 2D beat-em-ups. Uh, you know, Double Dragon is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, you can also block. I should I should mention that. Um, I don't block very often, though. It's, sometimes it, it leads to my downfall. But it plays a lot like, like Guardian Heroes. And I really like that about the game. Because, like I said, it's a gameplay style that you don't see very often. Now, you can see the character here has... Uh, once that red meter goes up, my attacks will do a lot more damage on them. You can see it on the bottom of the screen with the with the lock on mechanic. I need to I need to focus a little bit here because I'm not doing very well. Let's uh let's not die. That's not good to die. There we go. Good hit there. Oh goodness! Oh what a block! Come on! Don't die! Don't die! <laughs> oh my God! I died. That's embarrassing, but we'll try a different mission. It, the game is pretty challenging, I will say. You know, the missions themselves aren't aren't very long. You know, once you get through them, it just takes a minute or two. But you know, it's it's not the easiest game in the world. There are different difficulty settings that you can choose, um, so that's a good thing. But I'll show you guys this one more level. This is where we met Zozo. Um, and she's like, yeah, my arm is falling off and, and stuff like that. So you're looking for spare parts. She's not a zombie, though. She's not a zombie. All right, I'll, I'll skip through this and get to the gameplay. You can skip the uh, dialogue by just holding down the R uh, trigger. So that's cool. You know, it's, it's good to replay missions because you can level up your characters more. Um, you can also do, uh, you can use the D-pad or the analog stick. So here we're using Ali, as you can see, a much quicker character uh, than Solange. But you know that's good. It's good to it's good because it encourages you know playing through the levels again, seeing what character you like, and then sort of you know leveling up that character more so than maybe other characters. When you use a character in the game, so like I'm using Ali right now, uh, Ali will level up higher than my other characters will. Um, 
that I'm not using, but they all still level up. Like I said, I'll show you guys after I after I beat this level. But yeah, the, the Guardian Hero style gameplay just hits home to me because that's just that's one of my favorite Saturn games. I actually don't own the physical version of it, but like I said, I have the digital um, copy via the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. And it's just it's a it's a really fun game i really really enjoy this game i did not expect it to be as fun as it has been but the clever writing you know the clean graphics and the fun gameplay plus the ability to play online with people i'm assuming it works well it should work well i mean i i, I can't imagine there being any major issues with that but it's it's a really good game a very highly recommended game i hope some of you guys end up picking up this game so that the online scene sort of you know starts to take off a little bit so I could actually you know play with some more people but uh yeah it's 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 a fantastic game if you're a fan of games like Guardian Heroes or, or beat em up games uh you know it's a great game the action is good there's minor RPG elements as far as leveling up your character and stuff and the writing is just fantastic you know it's, it's very very funny dialogue which a lot of games don't manage to do that you know it's sort of you know you get a bit cringy when it comes to the dialogue more so than something actually being funny but this this is pretty damn funny all right so we cleared this quest we did a lot better than we did on that previous quest um, I will skip the dialogue although I do like the animation style of this it's very very Japanese but you know nothing wrong with that so Zozo joins our party here and so we get different items you see we get gold we've got a feather that we can use in there uh my character levels up all the other characters level up as well so you know a, a really fun game a really different game a really unique game but a game i definitely recommend so once again thank you to nicholas for sending over a review copy of this game i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below what you think of code of princess ex definitely a recommended game by rgt85 be on the lookout i have so many reviews coming up very soon we got uh dead cell Okami HD, 1979, The Revolution. A bunch of content is coming for the Nintendo Switch reviews on this channel. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.